I'm going to show you how to get all of these missions. Hello, my fellow Pyro Warriors. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get all the missions completed for the first stage, Gold Venturing in the Land of Wano. Now, I feel like obviously there may be other guides out there, but I'll try to be as in-depth and detailed as possible and as easy to follow as possible. Hopefully, if you enjoyed this and if you find this helpful, you subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoyed. Let's get into it. We're going to be using Yamato because I feel like Yamato is probably the... You know, this is Yamato's adventure, so we may as well. Alright, so when you first start off, obviously you start off in the beginning of the game, or the, you know, the mission. Alright. So the main thing that you gotta know for this part, and maybe every other part too, is that don't defeat the pirate commanders. The pirate commanders would trigger Yamato to like basically think that you check the entire area and move on. And mind you, you gotta remember too, these like normal objectives also count towards like those missions, not just the sub stories. So like this person that popped up and that's a red mission like a main mission still counts so again just beat him okay so the one that i probably think most people are getting confused on there's one in the in this first section that's kind of weird let's wait till yamato talks and all that so what you're gonna do is you see this little section right here as soon as you come here you walk into it, and then the scout commander pops up. I, myself, and a lot of people probably have missed this one a lot because he appears over here. And then all you do is come over and beat him, which will trigger another submission to happen in a sec here. But you see there's a familiar looking tree, but you check that one over there for him to pop up here. So what Yamato is referring to right there is right in here. Which obviously another hint for you is to walk in here and then boom, another mission pops up. Defeat all of them. And then that's it. So that's that mission completed. So then you come to the middle, remember how that scout commander was going somewhere? If you move up, or right here, the person that you're looking for is right here. So you need to beat this person with a 300 hit combo on the top left. If not, you fail it. Obviously we got it. So that's another mission completed. So then the next mission, I believe the final mission for the first segment here is if you go over here, you find Okiku getting, getting attacked. And you just defeat the enemy that's attacking Okiku and that's pretty much it. So then the last mission that you do in this first section is just, uh, you know, the, the standard just beat the, the pirate commanders that are here to progress the actual story. And then boom. Obviously, if you want to try and aim for a high score, you pick up these treasure chests. So now Yamato is going to change, you know, the search area. And I'll stay right here because Hawkins is about to spawn in, yep. And you can beat up Hawkins. Again, the people that you don't want to beat up are the... See, we already gave Hawkins a beating. The person, the people that you don't want to beat up are the pirate commanders that just appeared. If you beat them up, again, it will change the area and progress. And everything that you could get done right now would go past.
見たか真打ち君程度に僕は縛られない So then the next one is right here on the bridge on the side where you see my arrow. This is another mission. All I have to do again. Most of these are just basically to just find and then defeat enemy. That's pretty much all these missions. Now obviously you can use whoever you want. This doesn't matter if, you know. Your Katakuri, your Yamato, Luffy, Kaido, whoever. You just have to go through each, like, stop and make sure Yamato goes through. So, the way to trigger this next one, you have to be by the bridge over here. Basically, at the entrance of this Wano section. You see? So, those three markers will appear. And they want you to check each of them for a lookout. You have to do it within a minute and a half. So let's see. There's three markers. Let's check here. Not in here. And he was in here. See? And you just beat them up. And by doing this mission, you'll unlock the next part of this mission, which is where Drake pops up. See? Boom. And you could just usually wait around the area where you defeated the lookout because he'll spawn in that area. And that's it for Drake. I believe there's one more. There's only two more basically missions in this area. So there's uh, defeat the pirate commander, and then there's this mission over here. The reason I'm beating them up now is because, like I said, as long as you don't beat up all of them, you're fine. So then you, what you're gonna do is come down here where you see where I'm at. You walk up to this like shrine, basically, right here, and then Kinemon will spawn. And then you just have to escort them. Or it gets stuck on the... I guess he just got... <laughs> He could beat everyone else, but he can't beat a piece of wood, but, you know. Alright, so you escort him all the way to the end. Oh, Alright, so once you defeat that, or beat that little side mission, that ends the next set of sub-stories for the second set, uh, like section where Yamato searches. So once Kinemon retreats and you complete that, you can go over to the last, which I'm going to go into my beast form here because it's a speed type. But you can just run over to the, you know, the pirate commander and defeat them. You can honestly time it better for better time and defeat everyone up top and then leave the bottom ones alive and then finish it out that way. But like I said, just make sure you keep them alive, at least one of them. That way you don't progress the story. But I should progress the next one. Yep. Alright, so now the last search area is down here. Same thing. Samurai Chiefs. Actually, I usually leave Kaido alone to the last part. Just in case. I don't want to progress anything. But I think you should be able to leave him or beat him as soon as you want. Just to make sure the pirate commanders are alive. So, Kinemon and Kiku will spawn in for you to fight them. And... They won't spawn in if you don't do their respective side quests, right? So we just have to beat them both up, right? And honestly, with how strong we are, it doesn't really matter.
So then the next one that you're gonna do is, you know, Yamas is gonna feel like a rumbling or something. I don't know if the dialogue would trigger. Let's see. Exactly, there you go. So that's basically telling you search the area for Jack. And then if you go to this area where you see on the map, Jack will pop up. Boom. And then you just beat him up. So Yamato always has something to say when it comes to Jack. And then for the last part, all you have to do is beat Kaido and then defeat the the rest of the of the pirate commanders, which I'm gonna do like now and leave one left, but defeat Kaido first, but you'll see. The good thing about this too is that while doing all this stuff, you should be able to get to 15k points or more. You should also be able to like have enough time because every time you complete one thing, you get time as long as you're doing it fast enough. Right? So you should have enough time, especially with these earlier stages. I'm just taking it a bit slower, just got I can obviously show all of you. So Kaido's right there. Defeated Kaido. Then you can go ahead and defeat the Samurai Chief as well. And then all you have to do now is capture these two territories, and you're pretty much at the end game now. Okay. So once you capture both, Hybrid Kaido should spawn in as the final boss of the enemy or the area of the mission. One of those three, or all three of them. There he is. Let the dialogue play out rather than instant killing. I guess we can be cannon. Let's uh, let's power up too. Let's match Hybrid Kaido with Hybrid Yamato. Oh, he's gonna be with the Rock and Aku. Okay. I'm gonna beat it with the lore accurate move. And that's usually the end of the mission. But because we completed every single mission, let's see what happens. It's a pretty cool one. That's right, the actual Oden spawns in. And that's really cool. I think that's the extent of the dialogue for the first part anyway. So you just have to beat him up, beat up the real Oden. Somehow through time displacement is here. I'm gonna beat him in style though. Oh wait, hold on, let's see if they say anything else. Nope, okay, well, I'm just gonna beat him in style. Respect to Oden and beat him with the, the best looking move. And with that, you do all the missions. And that's how you do it, everybody. So with that, you get to meet Oden, and that's pretty cool. Uh, each mission has kind of like a nice little, you know, extra boss fight at the end, pretty much, if you do every single mission that is part of these Yamato special logs. I think this was probably one of the better ones, if not the best one, because Yamato's whole, you know, shtick is that he is Oden. So the fact that Oden comes out to meet Yamato, and I think that's pretty cool, and Yamato kind of has like a... I don't know, flabbergasted and kind of like a surprise approach to beating him is actually pretty wholesome and pretty cute. So yeah, that's how you do every mission on the first stage, go adventuring in the land of Wano. Let me know if you all found this helpful. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.